All right. What's good, guys? Welcome to Fast Break. I'm here with Beacon Light, the one up, and only. Man? What's up, bro? How you doing, right. bro? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm chilling, bro. A real I'm handshake. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For I real. don't know which camera to look at, though. Should I look at all three of them at the same time? I'll be yeah, all, like a lazy yeah. eye, yeah, cross eye yeah, or something. Yeah, whatever you want, man. Um, right. But um, I want to just kind of talk about your journey because you've had a very interesting journey and I've been following it almost since the beginning. I've been listening to you since you've dropped that song. Was that YC? You can't hold me back? And like, the, the long oh, you will never turn me down. Yeah, that Stephen one. Malcolm. Yeah, that's the one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been listening that's to a long there. time ago, bro. That's a long time ago, bro. It's like 2015. Yeah, you dropped uh, haters uh, mm-hmm. on my birthday. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. And I was nice. like, the music video, or was it lit? One of the music videos. I was like, uh-huh. it's a good birthday present. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I'm glad that that yeah. blessed you on your birthday, bro. Yeah, appreciate crazy. it, man. It's a deep cut, honestly. Yeah. Um, but I want to kind of talk to you about your journey because you went as you started off as a recording artist. Uh, you know, did did a lot of touring, especially you know, preaching to the youth and you know, schools and stuff like that. Sure. But then, almost like, gradually switched over to an untapped space, especially in in the CHH realm. Sure. Of sync. Yeah. Talk to us about that journey and how that looked like for you. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I mean, just so anyone doesn't, if anyone doesn't know, sync is you know, sync licensing. So licensing your music to TV and film. So ba- and they call it sync because your music is synced up with the video, right? Um, it's funny, actually, I got into that whole space gradually, but it started when You'll Never Turn Me Down was made, actually. So that whole record that I did that you heard way back in 2015, um, I made with Tommy Prophet. So after Tommy, Tommy's is, he's NS producer. NF producer. So basically after NF got signed, Tommy was already my homie from, you know, we had done some songs together, whatever. Um, and I was like, well, maybe he should do this next record or whatever. So... He did a whole full-length record with me, um, and we did that project. And then after we were done, he was like, yo, we, maybe we should try like to do a song for Sync. And I was like, I don't know what that is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I had just been like doing CHH, and that was it. And so I wrote with him um, the first song we ever did called We Runnin', which is basically, uh, you know, it was a hard thing to, I think for me, coming from CHH culture, CHH culture is very like, explicitly Jesus, yeah, right? Yeah, you sure. know what I'm saying? And usually the people who are the most explicitly Jesus succeed yeah. the most. Um, and so going into the space where I was like, okay, well, we have to be more like metaphorical and like undercover agents type, mm-hmm. you know, as we're writing, was a little weird. But um, when we first wrote that, that song almost literally within two months of turning it in um, to the people that pitched it or whatever, it almost landed the Amazing Spider-Man trailer. So it was oh, like, wow. literally, like, they sent us an email, like, 99%, you're going to get it. So I'm yeah. like, that's a good percentage. <laughs> and then I realized that 99% does not mean anything. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so, uh, anyways, that was the beginning, though, and that kind of just got me into this whole thing, and I started working with Tommy more and working with other people more, and as I was touring and as I was doing youth groups and as I was doing Christian festivals and then eventually public schools, I just started building a catalog of this sync thing. And then when 2020 hit and all the events went away, I actually made more money that year off music than yeah. I ever had. And yeah. it was, and I had done zero events. It was yeah. only from sync. Yeah. So then I was like, uh, you're like, maybe I should be like actually taking this more seriously. Cause I wasn't taking it as seriously, you know? Mm-hmm. And so it just made sense at that point to just kind of transition into that space of like, after the, all the events got canceled, you know, me and my family basically, because we, we were based in Michigan, we just moved down to Nashville. Sure. Like, yo, yeah. here we are, bro. Yeah, be with the writers, the publishers. Be with the writers, be with all the people where yeah, it's yeah. popping, where it's happening. So, like, for me, like, CHH is always, like, in my heart and, like, that's a part of who I am. But it through, throughout the years, I feel like God kind of brought me on this journey to even prepare me for what I'm doing now. And I don't even know what that's preparation for. Maybe mm-hmm. that's preparation for something else. But um, when I was doing schools, even like you can't talk about Jesus like that, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. so you have to kind of like learn to weave lyrically in order to even reach out to kids to encourage them. Otherwise, no, like no principles letting you in their school with mm-hmm. you just like sure. having a bunch of blatant Jesus songs. Yeah, yeah, you know what sure. I'm saying? So you yeah, kind of yeah. got to be undercover agent vibe. So, mm-hmm. yeah, man. So are you like full time music just off sync mostly? Yeah. Yep. I mean, that's crazy. Yeah. So like no events. I mean, I think I I did one event this year just because it's a festival in Michigan yeah. that I used to do, you know, and then so I went back and did it. But yeah, man, just sync. That that's is, it. see, uh, like that's an untapped market that I feel like people like you, Diraj, they're like kind of paving that way. And, you know, sure. Shashad Diraj, Tommy Prophet as well. He's been kind of like started that. Actually, I want to kind of side quest. Have you met NF? Have you like conversated with him? Yeah. 
Yeah. How's it? How's yeah, it? I mean, how's we're both like? from Michigan. No, he's a, he's a good dude. <laughs> yeah. He's a good dude. I mean, there's a there's layers of history there just because we're both from the same place. We've been yeah, to, both yeah. done events, you know, all that other stuff. When someone blows up, you know, yeah. like stuff happens. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. but he's, I mean, he's a good dude. He's like, like yeah. he's, he's, he's very, like, like he says though in his music, he's 100% small circle, super. Yeah. Trust a few people, and even if he trusts you, he's probably like that dude. It's like you gonna poison my drink, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, you know. He, but Nate's Nate's a good dude, bro. But he definitely keeps a f- only a few. We ever gonna know, get close. a? <laughs> yeah, for real. We're, we're ever gonna get a Beacon Light NF song? Well, maybe no, time probably not. Never gonna maybe. happen. I feel like that's a top comment back in the day, though. Yeah. Where people used to be like, you and Beacon, you and NF should do a song. You and yeah. NF. It's like no, nah, nah. even if we know each other, that's just not. <laughs> it's not like happen. bro doesn't even put big. Artists on the song, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. I was like surprised when he had the Hobson feature of like, yeah. oh, he like let another rapper on yeah, the song. Yeah. Like he barely, like I think top ones are Hobson, Tech Nine, and Corday recently. Right. Yeah. So, but that's what I'm saying. Like you get one, you get yeah, one yeah. per record. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? You get one not, chance. <laughs> he's not gonna be out here like that dude. That's like I'm trying to network with everybody. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. Now. For sure, for sure. That's very interesting. I mean, he'll let a couple people in on it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So, so where does the name Beacon Light come from? Uh, so my real name is Brandon. And uh, when I was a kid, I had this basically a little card from a church, from our church growing up that was like, the meaning of Brandon is beacon light. <laughs> so and I just what? had it in my room. Wait, is that and, factual? Is that like? Yeah. Well, it also means like hill covered with broom, which is really weird. <laughs> <laughs> and when I found that out, I'm like, I don't even know what, what am I supposed to do with that. And but I guess broom is a bright plant, so it's okay. the same concept of like a bright hill, a beacon hill, or whatever. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that supposedly is what it means, or whatever. And so I, uh, when I started rapping, my last name's Clahassi. Okay, so I'm okay. like, I'm not gonna be Brandon Clahassi the rapper. Yeah, you know, <laughs> although I could be Clahassi yeah. the rapper. What's up, homie out there? So I was just like, I'm not gonna be Brandon David Clahassi the rapper. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I just remember like being in my room and looking at that and be like, oh. Like Beacon Light means Brandon. Dope, dope, dope. It pretty much is my name. I guess I'm just doing it. it. It feels very Christian. Yeah, it does. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But at this point, though, like, because I thought about actually just changing it to Beacon. Yeah, so yeah. just for the sake of like, it's fine to be Christian, yeah, but yeah. you don't want to be like, my, my name is Beacon Light Community Church, the yeah. rapper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not trying to Have do an that. aggravation for it. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I, I just was like, I don't know. I thought about being just Beacon, but then when I looked it up, there's like 20 other ju- yeah, Beacons. Yeah. Like, yeah, as an a, artist, I'm like, bro, yeah. like, I'd have to completely change my yeah, name all the way. Sure. So at this point, it's I, I've done Makes it. I've I mean, done it long cool. enough, bro. Like it's yeah. it is what it is now. It's a cool name. <laughs> have you ever? I don't know. I feel like when I when I thought Beacon Light, I'm thinking like as soon as I heard that name, I don't know why. The first instant is like the Minecraft Beacon Light thingy. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there's yeah there's lighthouses everywhere, yeah. bro. Like, <laughs> like what the heck? <laughs> Which is very interesting. And I was like, you know, uh-huh. he's actually paving a lane. Like it's like music musically speaking, like your music is. Like a, a beacon light, you know, it makes sense. Just yeah. Right. Well, yeah. I, sometimes I struggle with that though now because like now you're doing a sync and like. Well, now yeah, I do sync. My top song is a song I did with Tommy and this dude named Sam, uh-huh. and it went viral. I don't even know why it went viral. Mm-hmm. To be honest, none mm-hmm. of us do. We're mm-hmm. all still trying to figure out the mystery of like yeah, yeah. how it went crazy, like yeah. over sixty million streams or whatever. Uh-huh. And like, uh, you know, it's in India, it's popping, but it's yeah. called Enemy. Yeah, yeah, and it's not light at all yeah it's very dark dark <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. and i mean it literally for inspiration i mean that was a sync song right but for inspiration like literally wrote like for inspiration was thinking like god versus like how did god feel when the devil betrayed him type yeah. vibe or like you know you're you're your own worst enemy battling sure. yourself but like definitely not a bright song so yeah, it sometimes yeah. feels weird to be yeah, like yeah, i'm yeah. beacon light or like how did these kids or yeah. people, CHH people that have seen me? Yeah. And I'd actually be a good question for you. Like, how, how does it feel, I guess, to see to see me change from... I've put out songs called, like, Jesus Loves Me yeah, is a yeah, song yeah. that I put out. Great song. Telling my, my testimony yeah. to, like, what I'm doing now. Yeah. Like, have I pulled, like, because I know, like, when Lecrae started shifting, I mean, there's tons of people Bad who jump shift. Yeah, like, yeah, bro, yeah. like, you're ashamed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you sure, said you're sure. unashamed. You are yeah, ashamed, yeah. you know? So I do wonder that, I mean, in a smaller way, like, yeah. did I put that in people's minds? Do yeah. they feel like, oh, Beacon switched up. He's not real anymore. He doesn't love God. Honestly, me personally, from when I saw your journey, I was like, I actually kind of love that shift because it shows you being real and it shows that you being not, like, because it's easy to say, you know, Jesus loves you, Jesus loves you every time. Like, yeah. And, sure. and that when you have your high moments, that's real. But when you, when you don't, talking about that, having that expression, 
as an outlet is very important. And you being able to do that and being able to kind of almost like metaphorically talk about, you know, from God's perspective and the, and the devil and you know, mm-hmm. that kind of stuff, I feel like it's very important for people to understand that it's not all just, you know, bright lights and, sure. you know, there's also like smoke and mirrors and like dark, darkness. So I really like that contrast. And you like, and that and that song, you know, being a sing song, I feel like is another thing that we, it, it's another avenue where you're kind of like reaching and ministering just through film and TV, which is very interesting. Right. Right. Yeah, um, yeah. But I kind of want to go into like the, the biggest question, I feel like. First of all, congratulations on your placement with Creed 3. The trailer yeah. that was amazing. I love the reaction and everything. If you guys didn't know, uh, Beacon Song got uh, placed in the Creed 3 trailer. And you might have not noticed, but you probably didn't notice. I don't know. <laughs> but it's a really banger song. Um, no, they might not have. Uh, big shade to Rap Zola, by the way. Because I sent him a DM and I was like, look, you don't have to post it. But, I mean, it is kind of crazy. It? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I didn't tell him to post it, but I'm, yeah. like, I'm not going to pay for your post. Yeah, 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 yeah. Didn't post it. I love you, Chad. I don't know who is running the IG. <laughs> but somebody should have definitely posted yeah, that yeah, I got yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? But it is, it is what it is. Yeah. I, I think I think we might have <laughs> reposted it. It's like, I think we forgot to tag you. Okay. So, oh. uh-huh. Yo, this crazy CHH artist, he got a Creed trailer. I don't know who it is, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mystery. It's a That's mystery, hilarious. bro. He's some random guy, yeah. bro. I don't know. So talk to us about that. <laughs> how did you get that? Oh, that whole space is very, um, I don't know how to explain sync. Sometimes it's hard to shoot for what you want and get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're basically creating a catalog of music that could work for those things. Yeah. And sometimes you write specifically. Like you could get a brief from Target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like we need a song and it has to have the word like more in it. Yeah. And yeah. like we want it to feel happy and we're reaching out to family. So it's True. gotta have this certain sound or whatever. So like you'll get things like that that you would try to get and then everyone's shooting for one thing and only one person gets it. So mm-hmm. it's just rare. Um and the trailers are also one of those things that it's like it's hard to explain how things like that happen. Yeah. It just happen you know yeah, yeah but it starts with creating a song that's good that could work in that space right mm-hmm. and so that the story of that was just crazy though for me just because we had i wrote that song with tommy like in 2019 mm-hmm. like it was just literally sitting around hadn't gotten a placement was just there yeah just in on someone's computer apparently for you sure know what i'm saying and um i think that whole journey really taught me that even though like even though you you don't necessarily feel people watching you. Someone yes. is. Yeah, right? for sure. It's because I remember we had just moved to Nashville. This is like, I don't know, maybe three months into us moving here. Like we moved in, in uh, 2021. And just like feeling like, man, bro, like, did I make a mistake? Because yeah, we had yeah, pulled yeah. our whole family down here. I got three kids, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And, and uh, me and my wife and, and just like, man, like, God, did we make a mistake? And then we got this email like, yo, Michael B. Jordan just approved your song. Yeah. For this trailer, it's you versus Kanye. <laughs> that was the email. What? Wait, say that again. It's you versus it's Kanye. It's you versus Kanye. And I was just like, oh, well. First of all, just like blown away of like, all right, like while I'm questioning or depressed or whatever, wondering, did I make the right move? Yeah. Behind the scenes, Michael B. Jordan is literally approving and listening to our song and be yeah, like, this yeah, is yeah. dope. We like yeah. it. We're going to test it. I mean, that was his debut as a director, too. So Right. So it meant a lot to yeah, him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's combing through it. So that's crazy. All Even if we don't get the placement, mm-hmm. it's still like, that's still wild. Yeah. And then to be like, okay, and then you're going against Kanye. And then you're just praying, like, I hope they have, they're have they thinking about their budget. Because I know Kanye's song costs yeah. more to use them are, than yeah, ours does. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? For sure, for sure. And thankfully, Kanye was wilding in the summer anyway. <laughs> so that probably, <laughs> that probably helped a little bit. But uh, but yeah, man, when it came out, though, it was just like, I mean, for me personally, I, I know my reaction on, on social media was like, we got Creed 3 is crazy and yeah. like screaming. But I just cried, bro, because it was like for us, it was like such a huge, a huge thing that we I feel like we needed that boost after just moving here of just like, man, like taking a risk, moving away from home. Be like, yo, if you want it, go get it type Mm -hmm. thing, you Mm -hmm. know, and to take your family with you, like as the leader, sometimes shouldering that responsibility can feel hard. And so having that happen was just like crazy, you know what I'm saying? So and then uh, it creates opportunity to build more momentum. So since then, I've been able to do more more in that space specifically uh-huh. for trailer and it's nothing has happened yet but yeah, yeah. it's still one of those things where it just creates opportunity uh-huh. where people from LA start hitting you up or yeah, whatever for sure, so it's for just sure. like get knocks open doors for you so that's awesome man yeah, um man. i i guess my last question I want this to be a little bit more fun right um yeah what's your dream placement Three, three, bro i'm already done i can die now yeah I'm just <laughs> <laughs> honestly bro i love fifa 
Yes. I, do yes. you play FIFA at all? Yeah, I do, yeah. I do, I do. So I love it. I got into it, and I was not into like soccer or football, whatever you want to yeah. call it, at all. As a yeah. kid, I played basketball only. And then my homie brought it over, and it was the first game. I was like, "Yo, you have to. If you don't control the whole team actively, you get yeah. smacked." Yeah, yeah. And I just started going crazy. Yeah, and I got good at it. And like, even if the placement didn't pay that much, it would be so dope. Like if FIFA, FIFA, yeah. if, uh, FIFA if yeah. it was like in the game. And yeah, I was like playing it. I was like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what I saw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but NBA, Madden, NFL. NBA is cool, but I, since I played basketball, I mean, that's just my me personally. Yeah. Since I I played in college, I already did all that stuff, yeah, yeah. and I'm just like, I almost feel like, why would I fake be yeah. good? at something i'm really good at yeah, yeah, yeah. whereas soccer is like i w- if i played against some actually good soccer players they would probably thrash me yeah, <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah, so yeah. like for me like the the fifa elements is is more fun yeah, you know? yeah, and madden bro you can just ask madden on defense <laughs> and basically be any you know like as long as you can run a cover two you know <laughs> like you're pretty much good to go cover two with a user pick like <laughs> oh my goodness you can yeah. s- and play actions and it's like bro madden's madden's almost so FIFA, too easy. fifa if you're watching this please FIFA's a jam please. bro hit me up hit, hit up my uh, screen name like- is dabiki <laughs> no so way. Add me and freaking play, man. Yeah. I dare you. No, okay. <laughs> so. All right. Who's your favorite uh, soccer team? Let's go. But, uh, Liverpool. Liverpool. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I play yeah. I play Barcelona. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you speak Spanish, right? So you'd probably watch. No, I you don't. You don't? Okay. No, I don't. You don't? I thought you were Hispanic. <laughs> no, no, I'm Indian. Oh, you're Indian. Well, hey. Hey, there you go. I, I, you look like you'd be like yeah. from Ecuador or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Indian team sucks, though, on FIFA. I can't Dude, I, you know, actually, the <laughs> they do. So, <laughs> they do. They so suck. My so, my friend. <laughs> The, that got me into it. He played me the first time, smacked me 5-0, was talking stuff. And I didn't even have a system at yeah, that point. Yeah. So I'm so competitive. Like, next day, buy a yeah. PS4. This is before PS5 was released. Yeah. Got so good. Smacked him 5-0 next week. Yeah. Like, let's go, bro. You'll never yeah. beat me again. And then uh, one day he came over. He loves Manchester United. Yeah. He played me. I'm going to say, you know what I'm going to do? Play, in- <laughs> play with India's <laughs> national team. I do that all the time. Yeah. Smacked him. Yeah. Okay. Bro. You better play. If you can win with <laughs> India, bro, you're like undefeated. Like, no, nothing ma- else matters. You, you're like <laughs> right. the ultimate champion. Like, <laughs> yeah. That team well, sucks. If you play someone who's really good, though, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. they'll my, not let you beat. Yeah, them my, my brother and I do that. We do. I, I I play India and he plays like another trashy. I don't know, like uh, what's what's another trashy name? I can't think of right now. Um, well, I mean, there's probably a lot Ecuador. Of I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Since like, I said <laughs> the country I'm from, bro, secretly. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Yeah, but man, Beacon, it was a pleasure having yeah, you, pleasure chatting with you, um, you know, and uh, we're excited to see your journey. Yeah, thank you, brother. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate you. Awesome. That's a wrap. <laughs>